The six zero Infinity Double Black Diamond released a while back and honestly, it didn't really wow me in any particular category. But instead of skipping it, as I tend to do with a lot of paddles that I receive, I figured I would take the time to be honest and explain why this paddle is underwhelming for me as a whole. Is it a bad paddle? No, it's honestly extremely hard to find an objectively bad paddle these days. So without further ado, let's dig straight into it. The Infinity Double Black Diamond comes in at a price of $220 and you can get 10% off using code SCS Pickleball at checkout, making the price just 199 bucks. When I first received the Infinity Double Black Diamond, I have to say I was really into the design. The hand painted white edges, the very contrasty and distinct printing of the graphics on the face, it all just really pops. I threw it in my swing weight and twist weight machine and honestly was expecting it to be lower in swing weight than it was. With a swing weight of 110 and a twist weight of 5.9, it does feel a bit more agile when comparing it to the original Double Black Diamond, but not by much. The original Double Black Diamond has a swing weight of just 114 with an edge guard. And the edge guard also comes with the perks of added stability due to the edge guard, giving the original Double Black Diamond a twist weight of 6.7, which is a pretty big difference stability wise and sweet spot wise. Having that weight around the edge from the edge guard is what adds that stability and sweet spot, which is often why you'll hear people saying that lead tape makes their paddles sweet spot feel bigger. And that's because more weight towards the edges of the battle makes the sweet spot larger and makes the paddle more stable, which totally makes sense. When we compare this also to the new Infinity Black Diamond Power version that was just released, we see an even more interesting story unfolding. The new Black Diamond Infinity has an incredibly agile swing weight of just 105. So it has very unique components leading to it being very poppy and super fast in the hands. And with such a low swing weight, you can still add lead tape to it and keep it under the original Black Diamond's swing weight of 116 leading to it being unique and a great option for someone looking for a really quick paddle at the kitchen line or for someone with tennis elbow or a very weak wrist. What this all means concisely put is that the Infinity Double Black Diamond is already so close in swing weight to the original version with the edge guard that you may as well just run it with an edge guard and save some money as the original version is just $162 with discount code STS Pickleball and also has the added stability of the edge guard. Whereas the new Infinity Black Diamond power version is much lower in swing weight when comparing it to the original Black Diamond with the edge guard, which makes them feel like totally distinct paddles with their own unique properties. Regardless, I always have to say that everything 6.0 makes is premium through and through, but the whole aim of this channel is to give you objective information and metrics so you can compare all the top options in the space and to ultimately save you time and money along the way. The Infinity Double Black Diamond is a 16 millimeter paddle, comes in at an average weight of 8.2 ounces, has a grip length of 5.5 inches, a grip circumference of 4.25 inches, a swing weight of 110, and a twist weight of 5.9. Spin-wise, the Infinity Double Black Diamond comes in at 2,035 RPM. Anything around or over 2,000 RPM, I would consider top tier and quality spin, so it's solid, but it's not topping the charts. The face does feel a bit smoother than the Infinity Black Diamond, so they aren't utilizing that rough textured surface here. To compare this to the rest of 6.0's lineup, we have the Infinity Black Diamond at 2293 RPM, the original Double Black Diamond 16 millimeter with the edge guard at 1977 RPM, and the original Black Diamond 16 millimeter with the edge guard at 1954 RPM. I can get solid dip over the net and work the ball how I want to with the Infinity Double Black Diamond, but not nearly as much as I can with the new Infinity Black Diamond, that's for sure. The Infinity Double Black Diamond definitely doesn't have much power and has middle of the road pop. This is 100% a control paddle through and through. Drives and serves felt very plush off the face and didn't have much aggression to them at all, but I did enjoy my drops, resets, and dinking felt nice for sure. So for power rating, the Infinity Double Black Diamond gets a 7.9 out of 10 for power and an 8.4 out of 10 for pop. Let's compare these numbers to the rest of 6.0's lineup so you can see them all side by side. We have the new Infinity Black Diamond Power at 8.6 for power and 9 for pop. The original Double Black Diamond with the Edge Guard at 9.1 for power and 7.8 for pop. And the original Black Diamond with the Edge Guard at 9.2 for power and 8.5 for pop. So we can see that the Infinity Double Black Diamond, regardless of the swing weight argument I presented at the beginning of the video, might have a use for someone who wants to be in 6.0's ecosystem, but 
wants a very control oriented paddle with slightly faster hand speed. I'd say this is a niche category for sure, but still something to keep in mind. But then we take into consideration the sweet spot, which really is nothing to write home about. The new Infinity Black Diamond, however, that I reviewed just before this video has an objectively better sweet spot than this Infinity Double Black Diamond for sure. But again, both are edgeless and will be slightly limited by that, but I was rather surprised how good the sweet spot was on the Infinity Black Diamond version. With this paddle, I did notice some harsh drop off outside of the center of the face, especially on drops and any sort of defensive shot, which hinders its controllability. So even though it's a control paddle, the sweet spot isn't great. So again, I don't know if I would really recommend this paddle to anyone specifically as it's just not really great at any one thing. So for sweet spot, I gave the Infinity Double Black Diamond an 8.3. Comparing this to the rest of 6 Zero's lineup, we have the Infinity Black Diamond at an 8. 8.9, the original double black diamond at a 9.1, and the original black diamond at a 9. So the models with edge guards take the cake here, but I really was impressed with the sweet spot of the infinity black diamond being an edgeless paddle. It really performed rather well. Lastly, we have control to talk about. When you hit the sweet spot, this paddle is super plush and fairly maneuverable given the low-ish swing weight. But when you compare it to other paddles in the space that have a hybrid or a more standard shape and are control oriented by design, they just outperform it because they have massive sweet spots and are designed specifically with control in mind. So again, this paddle just doesn't do any one thing particularly well. So for control, I gave the Infinity Double Black Diamond an 8.4 with strong consideration that you aren't going to be hitting the sweet spot every single time. To compare that to the Infinity Black Diamond at 8.9, we can see that a larger sweet spot with manageable power equals a better control score overall, which makes total sense. We also have the original double black diamond at 8.6 and the original black diamond at 8.5 for control. So again, for the price, if you want an all core paddle, I would urge you to just save the 40 bucks and go with the original double black diamond. Or if you want a super fast in the hands paddle with manageable power and solid pop, I would grab the infinity black diamond model. I have the Ruby review coming out soon. I wanted to take my time and really test it out for a while as it's the first full Kevlar paddle to hit the space and I want you to have information over a longer period of time so you can make an informed decision of what to do with your hard earned money. If you want to see my review for the best protective eyewear in the space, click here, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more content just like this and I'll see you in the next one.